Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. And in today's uh, video, we've done this before a few times, uh, revamped some of our older cabinets that clients have uh, sent back to us to get updated to what we do now. But this one's a little bit different. So straight off the bat, I just want to point out that this machine in front of us isn't actually one of our cabinets. So this uh, client here has contacted us and he's previously bought a machine somewhere else and it's not up to what he expected it to be. So he shipped it to us from Melbourne down here to Brisbane. And I'm just gonna explain what we're gonna to do to it. Um, so basically, we're gonna be putting our system on it with our one terabyte system, popper system. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to add the buttons and we have like the Magna, and we have our sound buttons that we have underneath here to turn volume up and down. We'll be adding the likes of that. Uh, our tactile feedback system. So we're gonna be using a lot of what's already in this machine. Uh, like the tactile feedback speakers here, there's two of them. So we'll be using the two, we'll be adding two more and to be done the same way that we use it. Uh, will we be reusing the amplifier that he's got? Uh, the two relay boards we can reuse as well. So we'll be taking them out. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely gut it, use what we can. Uh, the PC specs are actually good on this, so we're keeping all the PC specs. Uh, we'll be reusing the Playfield screen. It's a 4K Samsung, it's not the ones we use, but we'll be using that and just keeping the screens as is in the back box. Uh, shaker motor. It's not a proper genuine shaker motor inside this machine here. I'm not really sure what that is, but with testing it out, it doesn't even sort of shake the machine. So what we've got and what we're gonna be reinstalling, that's the safety cover as well, is a genuine stern shaker motor. Now these are proper shaker motors, the real deal. And what they do, if I just move that to there, is, you got these uh, big heavy weights on each side, if you have a look at that. So when you trigger it, it spins, and it really vibrates, shakes the machine. It's also pretty silent as well, you don't hear it very much. And it really vibrates the machine. And we also put switches on it, so you can adjust how much of the shaker motor, higher or lower to your taste, and we will have a switch somewhere. And here, it's gonna be a little bit different to what we normally do. Uh, another thing we need to do is, this has four times solenoids. You've got the number one, two, uh, one in the corner there, three, and four. We'll be ripping them out, putting in our solenoids to eight, so we'll be adding the bumpers, the five, six, seven, and the extra one at the back for other targets, number eight. So we'll be adding in the solenoids. Uh, we've We'll probably just tidy up the cords a little bit more on this PC and set it up a little better than what it is. But yeah, that's about what's going to happen on the inside. Um, we'll come back and we'll, once we've completely rewired it, we'll show that. Uh, we're also going to be adding in addressable LEDs up the two sides for in gameplay and our matrix that we put across the back. So he wanted us to add that. So that's the inside of the machine and on the outside, um, these are meant to be powder coated but they're not. As you see, the paint's just coming off them. If I get my nail, I can just scratch the paint off like that. So we're gonna be replacing that with our proper side rails, which I've actually got here. You have a look at that. And I put it on this machine just to show you too that we had to, we had to change the length of it because all our machines are taken off a full-size Williams machine originally, and this machine here is a lot shorter, stumpier. And so if you have a look at this, but when we put this on, like so, it's to the length of the machine. So we had to, uh, we had to modify that a little bit to fit, so, if you have a look on our machine, you're about 120 mil shorter in length. A uh, new lockdown bar as well, so we've got a brand new one. Of course, it's all nicely powder coated. And ours are fixed in place properly. This one here is just sitting in place with this 
little bit of sticky tape to try and hold in place, which is no good obviously, as you're playing the machine, it's just moving like this in gameplay. So we're replacing that as well. And these here, these are your back hinges. Originally, the client who got this machine built wanted them done in red, and for some reason they came in black, and he wasn't happy about that. So yeah, he's got us to put brand new ones in, in the nice red color. Yeah, so like I say, this is just a revamp for a client on an existing cabinet he purchased elsewhere. So when we come back, I will show off what we've done to the inside and then we'll come back and show the finished product. Okay, so what we've done now is we have completely gutted the whole machine. And while it's at this point, another thing to mention would be ventilation. And there's no ventilation in this machine pretty much at all. There's only these three little ventilation grooves at the front. Now, the PC specs and a 4K screen runs extremely hot. So what we're going to do next is we're going to drill a hole here for a, a fan. And what that fan does is it blows air up into the, into the machine here, into the cabinet. And we're going to put another two fans up and he will draw holes fans and they they will take the air from inside and blow it back outside uh, we also with our power supply as well it has a fan on it we drill a second hole as well so we'll be drilling all those holes putting in the fans uh, now we're taking everything off here we'll be adding our extra buttons so we have to have one on here for a magnet it's very important for certain games having a magnet button we also use it to skip through letters in the popper system if you don't have it it's very hard to go through a menu system quickly in some of the playlists. Uh, we'll be putting in the two more buttons under here for the up and down of our volume, which is hidden away. Uh, the right side here, we'll have a second hole here for the right side magnet, and it's directly underneath it, in fact, if you have a look at one of these, what we have is another button here, and it's to do with our sound for half mute, and you can push both together to do full mute on our sound system and just a quick look inside one of ours so you get the idea we have a lot of ventilation you need a lot of ventilation this is the back door with the fans ventilation and that and you see the two holes these are the two holes we're putting in a fan there and a fan there we don't have as we won't be having all the ventilation grooves but we put in as much ventilation as we can on this machine here yeah, so that's the next stage guys so when we've uh, got all that drilled out and got some fans in place we'll come back and have a quick look at that so what we've done now is we've uh, drilled all the extra buttons so we've got our bike magnet we've had to make these holes a little bit bigger which you won't see when the buttons in the side rail we put on so it fits correctly and we've got our half mute and push both together full mute sound system button there if you look on the other side we've got the left magna we've drawn in the two holes for our sounds volume up and down okay so we've drilled the hole in for the fan uh, the other one's for the power supply which has a fan on it as well blowing air out and we've got the two holes in place for the fan there and while we're at it paint around the room we decided to paint the door for them when he opens up the door it's all nice and painted and not just the bare timber uh, another thing to mention would be we put blades in place so if you have a look at that so these are the blades where the screen fits in between we've ripped out the piece at the back here to put the matrix in and what we do is we have it sitting down slightly so we have a nice uh, plastic channel that has the dressable leads that's sitting on top of it so the end result is you just see the dressable leads sitting on top uh, previously where the screen the samsung screen was sitting in here there was a big gap and there was a two strips of perspex each side going up to cover it cover the gap and it was actually covering about 10 mil of the screen each side as well which you won't be happening now that we've got our blades in place you'll see full screen from edge to edge to edge uh, another thing to mention too just quickly before we do it so we're going to tidy up the front of here so if you have a look where the, the cabinet meets, because it hasn't been 45'd, 
the sticky here won't stick to this. And you can see how the stick is all crinkled up. It just flaps open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nice straight edge and cut that down there. Pull the sticker off. We're gonna put in a router groove down here and put in a nice piece of T-mold to finish it off nicely. And the same this side as you have a look at that. As it's never ever gonna stick to that end grain like there nicely. So we'll do that as well. And yeah, we're just about ready now to start putting everything in, all the solenoids, etc. So when we come back, we'll have it completely wired up on the inside, we'll show that, we'll show the addressable leads and the matrix in place. Oh, sorry guys, just a real quick one before we show it all finished, put together on the inside is, I've just installed the shaker motor and thought, well it's there, it's a probably good opportunity to show how uh, unlike the one that was in here before, it's a genuine stern shaker motor with the large weights and what would happen if that was to come loose, it would completely destroy the inside, hence why you've got a cover on it as well. Um, also got a switch, now the previous one was just one, one volume of what it was and we have it on about half, full, full volume. It's way too high on this, about half is really good, but if you want it a little bit less, so the, the shake is less, you can just adjust it to your taste. So that will be going on a shelf that will go over top of this a bit later on. But just as I've got that in there, I'm just gonna show you quickly how important it is to, it's just not screwed and it's actually bolted through. You don't want that moving anywhere, it really shakes. So you have a look at that. So the bolts come right through. And also, when you bolt it through, it's a special nut. You see the plastic on the end of it there? So when it screws on, it doesn't rattle off. So we also make, have to make sure when you're bolting stuff like this in, you use those sort of nuts that won't come loose. So I thought, yeah, just a real quick one on that, on how a shaker motor should be installed. And it should always be either to the right or the left recommended a shaker motor right up towards the front corner. It's where you should have it. You shouldn't have it in the middle of a machine either. That's not the way they recommend it to install a genuine shaker motor there.